Christmas time on the island of Soda, and the top half engines were busy. The snow made their journeys difficult. They had to work hard to deliver passengers and goods to their destinations on time. This made the engines feel really reliable. Elizabeth pulled into the fence yard with Thompson's snowplow. I don't need that silly old thing. Stuff and nonsense. You can't be a reliable engine if you can't get through the snow. That made Thomas cross. You know I'm reliable. I just don't like my snowplow. Elizabeth is rude, and this snowplow makes my buffers ache. Later, Thomas saw the top hat talking to Elizabeth. The sword or cake factory is stolen. The Christmas case must get to the docks before the ship sails from the mainland. Let me do the job. I need you on your line, Thomas. Besides, Elizabeth knows those roads well. She's very reliable. I'm reliable too, half Thomas. Apparently, not reliable enough. Elizabeth Chuff. Now Thomas was crosser still. The snow was heavy, but Thomas arrived at every station right on time. Elizabeth was struggling to stay on the road. Her wheels did not like the slippery ice at all. When Thomas arrived at the docks to pick up Terrence, he was surprised that Elizabeth had not returned. The ship will miss the tie, said the dock manager, and the children won't have their Christmas cakes. Thomas, go and look for Elizabeth at once. Yes, sir, answered Thomas. Perhaps Elizabeth isn't so reliable after all, he whispered. At the cake factory, Elizabeth was piled high with crates of Christmas cakes. Sir Top has counted on me, I mustn't be late. She chuffed onto the icy road. Suddenly, she was on a steep hill. Her driver applied the brakes. Elizabeth slid her control into a deep snow drift. Poor Elizabeth. Thomas and Terrence passed through the snowy snow. They couldn't see Elizabeth anywhere. Soon, they spotted her driver. He was standing by the level crossing. Elizabeth is stuck under snow, her driver explained. I need help to dig her out. Thomas rescued her in no time. We will have to hurry, said Thomas. It wasn't your fault, Elizabeth. It's the slippery roads. Elizabeth felt much better. <coughs> Thomas chuffed and puffed as fast as he could. reached the docks just in time. Sir Topham Hatt was delighted to see the bakery craze and that Elizabeth was safe and well. We'll get you unloaded immediately. Now the children will have their Christmas cakes, said Thomas. Well done, said Sir Topham Hatt. Oh, thank you, Thomas, said Elizabeth. You and I are both reliable. Thomas agreed.